KPX 5's Devin Feely has a look at pandemics through the lens of history and what that means for us. The flu virus still persists, um, but it's been broken up into little pieces. So Talk to Stanford professor Monica Green long enough and you learn that looking at a pandemic through the lens of history is different than looking at a virus through the lens of a microscope. Pandemics like the Spanish flu end even when the viruses that caused them persist. The last main outbreak was 1920. So there we're looking at systematic circulation in human populations. Professor Green says the COVID-19 pandemic was born in the cradle of our high-tech, fast-paced world, allowing it to spread rapidly to every corner of the planet, right. while also accelerating the development of potentially life-saving vaccines. And so much of, of, of business, social life, culture, relies on people being able to move around the world freely and quickly. What is uh, COVID-19? COVID-19 is a brilliant aviation-fueled pandemic. Historians are much better at looking backwards and understanding the present moment or predicting the future. But Professor Green says we have the weapons in our arsenal right now to end the pandemic. The problem is it's an arms race and far too many are refusing to roll up their sleeves. Best possible world, two years. <laughs> two years with no spikes. Devin Feely, KPIX 5.